This six bedroom home in Culver City is under $2 million, let's check it out. Before we start our tour, look at the kitchen. I mean, this is just a great remodel with tons of space. The countertops extend the entire length of that wall, but let's just give you the full raw tour of this house, starting at the front door entrance behind me. So here we are, right as you enter. I am a big fan of the teal painted doors, which is nice. My favorite color is blue and a teal blue, a greenish blue, definitely makes you feel like you're at the ocean. It's especially nice to see when you're over near the west side, we're about 10, 15 minutes away from the ocean, from Venice Beach and Santa Monica. But right as you enter, you can see gallery wall in front of us then you've got some closet space and you just arrive to the open concept living area you've got some dining space right in front of me and you have that flowing right to your kitchen beautiful quartz countertops waterfall edge there and you can easily fit two or three bar stools as well for your breakfast bar area right next to the dining space and the living area is right next to that too. So it's definitely a nice open concept design here in the home. It doesn't make you feel enclosed or claustrophobic. And I do like these three light fixtures right above the island as well. But if we're looking at everything throughout this house, LG stainless steel, brand new fridge and freezer. This is not one of those cheap fridge and freezers. You can see it is tinted on the right side where the fridge is. And you can see actually double door fridge, but you can see in there into some of those compartments as well, which is pretty cool. Freezer compartment. Down beneath, lots of storage space, countertop space, and the design of these cabinets above is nice for your corner cabinet space. Integrated chrome sink and a matte black faucet with a little sink sprayer, which is convenient. You can look right out to your side yard and you've got more storage space, more countertop space. You've got a brand new dishwasher, four burner gas stove, Kenmore oven down there beneath and Whirlpool microwave slash steamer built in right below some of this cabinetry. Very modern look to this kitchen, fully remodeled. This home was built in 1947, but they just finished remodeling it for the new buyer as well. And you're gonna get it for under two million in the mid one millions would be a pretty good offer guys. So let me know what you think. Also, if you made it this far, and you've seen some of my other videos. Of course, my name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local real estate agent. I've got a team out here. We help people buy, sell, and invest in property just like this every single day. We specialize in new construction on the west side and in the San Fernando Valley. So if you have any questions at all about real estate in LA, hit me up, shoot me an email down in the description below. But let's keep moving on. We've got even more countertop seating as well, more bar seating in your kitchen. I mean, look how big this kitchen is and you have a column right there in the center, but you've got some seats for your island, some seats for more countertop space on the right side. And like I said, it extends the entire length of this kitchen all the way to the wall. Then you've got just more pantry space, storage space right here. It's honestly, like I said, there's a brand new remodel. They haven't even finished building everything that they want to build. And then you've got your Large living area, easily can fit an L-shaped sofa. Put a flat screen TV up on the wall. That is a fake TV, it's just a prop right there. So you can definitely have a bigger one than that small 40 inch or whatever size that is. And then right in front of me, this is where we see sliding glass doors to lead out to your large backyard and guest house. We'll go out there a little bit later on. But let's show you some of the bedrooms on the opposite side. This is where we have the office space that is front facing. You do have a window looking out to that front yard. You've got a nice tree out there, real grass as well. Looking out to your driveway. I do like the design, a lot of the, the little details in the built-ins, this shelf space, some storage down beneath, and then mirrored closets on the left. And then on the opposite end, this is where we have our bathroom. I mean, look at this bathroom, guys. And it is also, You've got two doors to this bathroom, so it can act as a guest bathroom for anyone that needs to use it when they're in the living room, any guests that are hanging out. But there are also two sinks, dual vanity in here with the same quartz countertops that we see in the kitchen. But aside from how nice these countertops and these finishes look, as well as your mirrors having medicine cabinets behind them, two of them actually, look at the tile in the shower, guys. That's definitely something that caught my eye because you have this nice modern light gray tone to it as well as on the floors that you'll see in here bathtub built in as well but let's head back out through the hallway you've got the honeywell home thermostat right as you walk outside and then a second bedroom 
next to that bathroom. This one is not on suite this time and not staged, but you can definitely imagine having a bed right here. This one's a little smaller than the last bedroom, but it's definitely bigger than a lot of bedrooms that I've seen, especially in this price range. And I am a fan of the bright wood floors in this entire main level of the home as well. And you've got some more mirrored closet space. You've got some natural sunlight coming in from the side, but let's move out. Head back down to the living space. You just woke up and now you are back in your living room from your bedroom, ready to start your day. I mean, when you got a kitchen that looks like this, how can you not be happy and just enjoy cooking and just hanging out in your home? There's a lot of natural sunlight, honestly, surprisingly, coming into this house as well. I don't know if you guys could see it that well from that side of the camera, but here we are. Let's walk down this hallway. We've got a couple of recessed lights above and the primary bedroom is at the very end of the hall. But to the right, we've got another bathroom with a different look. This time, granite countertops, dual vanity once again, large oversized mirror above, and a few light fixtures there too. But this is also where your dish, your Samsung washer and dryer are going to be. So that's, uh, you know, it, it makes an efficient use of space if you don't want to have a full other room for your laundry area. And you do have storage space up above as well, lots of cabinet space. Full shower built into here with two small shower benches as well. Toilet tucked in the corner. But as we head out of this bathroom, let's get back down the hallway and show you what's in this bedroom. So here we go. So now this bedroom is a little different because we have carpeted flooring in here. I don't know. Some people are fans of carpeted flooring these days. Some people prefer it actually, even though you'd feel like most people want wood. It's easier to clean, but you'd be surprised how many people actually would want carpet especially if it's brand new carpet but also we've got full mirrored closet space once again but that's it for that bedroom and now as we walk down one more room to show you in this main house the primary suite once again carpet but you do have some wood space in a little little grand entryway for your bedroom as you walk in so the door is not right next to your bed you actually can't see it which is a small thing not a lot of people think about. If you're just laying in bed, you don't really always want to just look at your door and you're able to hear noises coming from the hallway or from the main areas of the house a little bit easier if your door is right up against one of the walls. But if you can't see it from your bed like this, it makes it feel a lot more private in your room. And trust me on that one because that's what I look for when I look for a room for myself, honestly. But then there's closet space to the right side, lots of storage, and the good thing is you have sliders that lead directly to the backyard from your bedroom. So let me show you this. This is your private backyard with tons of real grass space. You can easily imagine having your dog run around, maybe have your kids playing out here, throw the ball around, throw the football around, playing fetch with your dog. Like I said, that's what I think about. I've got a golden retriever and he would have loved this backyard to run around, do some circles, play some fetch. Lots of trees planted in the back. You can maybe implement your own garden. Got some orange trees. Those are your neighbors though, right next door. And then this is where your guest house is, but we're gonna go around the back side here and show you this guest house. So guys, I do show a lot of homes that are pretty similar to this on this channel. Check out some of the other videos, but I say similar because these are brand new remodeled duplexes potentially. So technically you're buying two homes for under a million dollars each, which is a phenomenal investment, especially if you want to rent one of them out to friends, family, or post an ad online and then rent out this separate duplex. But you're going to see why this guest house is almost just as good as living in the main house. First off, right as we walk in through the back door, and we walked in through the back slider, but you'll see there's the front door in front of us. We've got some dining space, just a small amount of dining space enough room for a living and I mean obviously you can see that this would be great for a bachelor someone wanting to rent in LA living close to the west side we're also right next to the 405 freeway so traveling is very convenient if you want to live here under a million dollars for each home I mean honestly mind-blowing if you know anything about the LA real estate market especially today but then check out this kitchen so very similar finishes in this kitchen to the one in the main home with the same quartz countertops you've got a four burner gas stove you've got a kenmore oven once again you've got your sink stainless steel on the right side four floating shelves in this corner storage space down beneath and then brand new dishwasher as well because who's trying to do dishes these days unless you're hiring someone to specifically live 
in this guest house, which I don't know if that's what you're going to be doing if you're buying this home specifically, but this is a great home for a family that also does not want to do dishes because you have new dishwashers. But let's keep looking. This is just a nice little removable island there. And then your fridge and freezer is on the opposite side of where your kitchen is. But before we show you what's down the hall next to the front entrance, you have two bedrooms in this guest house. First one definitely can be used as an office. It's probably not big enough to fit an entire bed in here, but definitely good amount of space to have a little office. Closet space on the left. Back out into the living room and then down the hall. Let's go to the left, quickly show you that we have nice quartz countertops once again in this bathroom, built-in bathtub, same finishes in here that you're seeing. And right next to that bathroom, front door, another bedroom. This one's a little bigger than the office space and anyone could definitely live here. This is as big as most apartments, rooms, or regular homes in this price range here in Los Angeles or on the west side, you'd be surprised. And then there's a the front door. Once again, my favorite teal tones. You've got the original glass windows there on your door and then washer and dryer can be installed here as well which is nice because you got to have in unit washer and dryer if you're going to have duplex so now that you've got someone that can comfortably live in this unit without having to go anywhere really you've got your kitchen you've got your laundry taken care of you've got outdoor access to a nice backyard i mean what more would you ask for here in this specific now before I wrap up this tour, I gotta show you some of what this outside portion looks like. So that is the entrance to the guest house that we just saw. We've got this nice little walkway underneath me that leads to your driveway where you do have a gate as well. And you've got this nice outdoor patio section. You can put a cover up above potentially if you wanna make it more private and close it from all the elements out here. But that was everything. We're gonna head right back inside the home, up these steps, through the sliding doors into the house. But appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Darren Kriz. I have a team out here that help people buy, sell, and invest in real estate every single day. So if that's you or someone you know, reach out to us in the description below. Shoot me an email. If you have any questions about Los Angeles in general, maybe you can find a video on my channel that answers those questions. But if not, shoot me an email. Like I said, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.